Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part three of the new exercise that will be 12.2. You will see the first question here. Are the following diagrams correct? And you have to give the reasons for your answers. So this is the figure given. So now see here, you can see this is a triangle and this 110, this is outside. That is the exterior angle we can say. So whenever we have this interior angles, when we have this two, so this is 50 plus 60, that is going to be 110. So when we add this both, and this also is 110, so we can say yes, because exterior angle is equal to sum of the interior opposite angles. So this also is 110, this also is, so it will be yes. Now we'll see for this one, this is the exterior angle. This is a triangle here. So when you add this both, that is going to be 95. So we can say yes, because exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. Here, this is exterior angle. And this is 140, 70 plus 70. So this is 70. So we can say no, because exterior angle is not the sum of interior opposite angles. Now here, this is the exterior angle. So this is 120. When you add this one, so we can say yes, because exterior angle is equal to sum of interior opposite angles. In the figure, angle ACD is equal to 140. This is the figure given. This is ACD. This is 140. And angle A is equal um, is to angle B is equal to 3 is to 4. So you have to find the angles of triangle ABC means you have to find these angles. So now when the ratio is given 3 is to 4 means this angle A we can consider this as 3x and angle B as 4x. So here now this is the exterior angle this is 140. So this as well as this one when you add this one this two angle A plus angle B that should be angle ACD that should be 140. So now we know this angle A is 3x and angle B is 4x and that is angle ACD that is 140. This step is important. So 7x is 140. So x will be 140 divided by this is multiplication. It will get divided by 7. So x is going to be 20. So we can say now we want the value of this 3x. So 3x will be 3 into this 20. That will be 60 and 4x is going to be 4 into 20. So that will be 80. So we can say they said find the angles of the triangle ABC. So we got this one as this is A, that is 3x, this B is 4x, and now we will see for the C. So now this we got, this we got, so this we want the inside one. So inside triangle can be, that is, this is a linear pair. So linear pair means that should be 180. So what will you do from 180, you are going to subtract this 140. So this angle C is going to be one, this will be 40 degree. So we can say angle C is 180 degree minus 140, that will be 40 degree. So the, of the, the angles of the triangle are 60, 80 and this 40. Find angle X in the following figures. So this is the figure given. So you have to find out, now we know this, are the, the, when you take the sum of this one, these are the interior angle and this is the exterior angle, it should be 115. So we can write X plus 35 is 115 because exterior angle property of a triangle. So x will be 115. If this goes there on the other side, that will be minus 35. So x is 80 degree. Now for this figure, when we add this one, that should be the value of x because x is the exterior angle. So 65 plus 42 is equal to x because that is the exterior angle property of a triangle. So when you add this one, this will be 107 degrees equal to x. Now for this one, this together will be, should be 108. So 52 plus x is 108, x because of the exterior angle property. So this x is going to be 108. This will go here. That is going to be minus 52. So x is 56 degree. Now here, this should be equal to this 100. So 2x is 100 degree. Exterior angle property of a triangle. So 2x is 100. So x will be 100 divided by 2. So x is going to be 50 degree. Now here, this both together, when you add this one, that should be 84. So x plus 30 is equal to 84. So x is going to be 84 
plus 30 is minus 30 so x will be 54 degree now for this one this together is x so this will be 90 plus 40 that will be x so that will be 130 x will be 130 in the adjoining figure if ps is the bisector of qpr find the angles of measure of angles x y z and w here so x y z and this w this we have to find the measures of this one so now let us go let us see first this one in triangle here if we take this triangle prs so what we what we can see this one y plus 60 so this one when you add this one y plus 60 so you can see for this triangle this is the extra rear angle so we can say y plus 60 is equal to 105 that is the extra rear angle property of a triangle so y is going to be 105 and this plus 60 will go on the other side that will be minus 60 so y is 45 degree so here because now see why did we take this triangle because if suppose we are taking this triangle what we can see here this both are unknown so that is not possible and again here this also is z so that also is unknown so it's not possible to get the value so only this was possible for this one when you add this that should be 105 so that is only a one variable that is unknown so y is 45 now here what you can see this ps this ps is the bisector of what this will be of qpr this whole triangle this is the bisector of that one so we can say this one x is equal to y so this we got this y we got is 45 so x also should be 45 because this is the bisector of it so now your x is equal to y is equal to 45 because ps is the bisector so now we got this one we got this so now it is easy to find out z so what we can say z 105 plus z you got this as or we can do one thing uh, we can also find out this one this 105 and this is z so this is a linear pair so 105 plus z that will be 180 because of the linear pair or we can also find out to this one to this triangle both ways we can do it so 105 plus z is 180 that is linear pair so z is going to be 180 minus 105 so z is 75 degree now we will see for triangle this pqs so we got this one we got this one so now we can find out for w when you add this this and this one that should be 180 so now look at here x plus w plus 105 is 180 because sum of angles in a triangle is 180 or you can write angle sum property that both is the same so your x is 45 we don't know w this is the same so what will you do when you add this one that is 150 plus w is 180 so w is going to be 180 minus 150 that will be 30 degree so you can say x is y is equal to 45 z is 75 and w is 30 degree in the adjoining figure find the measure of angle x so this is the angle what we have to find out so now what we can see here first we'll see in this one in triangle abc so angle a plus angle b plus angle c that is 180 because sum of angles in a triangle is 180 so what we can see here 50 plus 60 and we don't know this angle c that is 180 so 110 plus angle c is 180 so angle c is 180 minus 110 so angle c is 70 degree this is 70 degree so now what we can see here that angle ecd we'll take this triangle so what we can see here angle ecd this is we got this as 70 degree so what we can do now we can take that is now this and this one we want this angle first this one so what we can do this we got a 70 so this will be for this one we can write angle this one 70 plus we can consider this as 180 from a 180 we are going to subtract the 70 that is going to be because of the linear pair so angle ecd is 110 so this one this angle ecd means this angle is 110 because we got this as 70 and this is a linear pair means the sum should be 180 so from 180 we are going to subtract this one or we can do one thing we can consider this we can get any variable we can say 70 plus a is 180 so what is a anyways you can do it or you can do it directly this way so now what do you do now we want the ecd this one this plus this one 
so that is angle x because if we take this together that will be because this is the x ray wave angle because now we got this as 110 so 110 plus 40 is x so this is 110 plus 40 is angle x so 150 is equal to angle x so angle x is going to be 150 find the value of x and y in the following figures so this x and y we have to find out here so what we can do here we can start with this one so can you see this is a linear pair because is whenever we have like this so this should be the linear pair so 116 plus x will be 180 because of the linear pair so x will be 180 plus 116 is going to be minus 116 so x is going to be 64 so this x we got as 64 now what we can do here we'll take here angle c this this angle this is angle c plus 140 again this should be 180 because this is the again the linear pair so angle c we will get this angle c so angle c is 180 this will go here that will be minus 124 so that will be angle c is 56 degree so we got this one we got this one so now what will you see here now we will look for this whole triangle so what will you do here this plus this plus this that will be 180 so angle a plus angle b plus angle c is that is 180 so angle a is what that is y y plus x angle b is x plus 56 is 180 so y plus 64 plus 56 is 180 so when you add this one y plus 120 is 180 so y is equal to 180 minus 120 that is 60 so we have to write the other same thing here separately angle x is 64 and angle y is 60 now we'll go for this figure so what we can do here here again we will do one thing we will take this both again this is a linear pair so we can get this angle x so x plus 135 that is 180 that is a linear pair so x is going to be 180 plus 35 will go here that is going to be minus 135 so x is going to be 45 degree so now again what we can see here this plus this one should be this because this is the exterior angle that is 110 because it is the exterior angle property so what we can write here we got this value of this one so this together should be 110 so what we will write here value of this x will be 45 we don't know angle y that is 110 so angle y will be 110 that will be minus 45 so angle y will be 65 degree so now that is what we want the these values of this unknown angle x and angle y now let us see how to do this one here we have to find out this y and this x one so now let us take this triangle first because these two are given one is unknown so in triangle abd so we can write here angle a plus angle b plus angle d that is 180 because sum of angles in a triangle is 180 so here angle a we don't know plus this 15 plus 98 is 180 so y, this angle a is y so y plus here when you add this that will be 113 is equal to 118 so y is 118 80 sorry minus this one this will go on this side that will be minus 130 13 that will be y is 67 degree now let us see this triangle because now we got this value we we know this one so when you add this one because now this you know out of this is 15 so you can get easily this value of x now so let us see how to do it and so this is triangle abc so in triangle abc angle a plus angle b plus angle c is 180 sum of angles in a triangle is 180 so we got this a that is y that is 67 so angle b is what b is this combination of this one 15 plus x so we can write here 15 plus x plus c is 62 is 180 so when you add this this and this one so that is going to be 144 plus x is 180 so x will be 180 minus 144 so x is going to be 36 so we got the value of x and 36 you can write here x is 36 and y is that is given as 67 so by this one we have completed today's work to like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts thank you